of all the source is God. And without the source, we're nothing. We can't teach, we can't teach little kids, or kids, period, anything without the source, which is God. And we follow the source because God is our initiator, God is our supplier, and he helps us to conquer all things in this world. My name is Julio Rivera. I'm the father of Norbel and Nazario. I'm Raymond Eppleston. This is my daughter, Cheryl. This is my daughter, Rayanne. Jamila Hernandez. And my son, Angel Valdez. I'm Jose Ortiz. CJ Ortiz, Jr. My name is Gabby. My name is Eva. And my name is Carla. My name is Ebony Bernard. Alexandra Bernard. My name is David Knott. My name is Christine Smith. These are my three children, Kevin Jr. Daniel and Sydney. My name is Isabel Trinley Vasquez. Um, Mom is going by Vasquez. This is Isaiah Malachi Baby Bulldog Vasquez. I'm excited, I love it. Two to three years now. Six, seven months. Four, five months. Two months already. I actually first started when he first opened back in 2009. Two years now. Since March of this year. Three and a half years? Two years. I like the, uh, the background that, that the source brings. Um, it brings discipline, character, and also it's a strong page, um, base uh, background in the Lord. And that's what I want my daughter to have. My son needed discipline. Um, he was interested in boxing and karate as well. And we drove around and couldn't find a good school. And we chose the source. Well, we chose to come to this particular dojo because back in 2009, my daughter was in elementary school. Both of us were here by ourselves with a family. I'm a single parent and I work a lot. So I wanted to put her in a place that was very influential to her. That way she can actually grow, learn, sport, and also be, in the, be influenced by somebody. And he was a, I mean, a major influence on her at the time. Um, my husband was actually looking for something karate-wise, but not only for karate, something that teaches him about God, how to use and channel, you know, things that happen in everyday eight-year-old lives and four-year-old life and maybe not so much a two-year-old life, but for him to know how to channel his anger or his issues, I should say. This is a good after school program for my son. At first, it was the closest to Little Sister School, um, but then we saw the environment and how these kids were training, and um, we thought it was best for my little sisters just to get up in the career that they wanted to go in. Oh yes, a lot. A lot. They learn respect, discipline. I mean, they come home and they're excited to come back here the next day. It has helped. Um, he's had some trouble in school and some little attitude problem. And the more he's around coach, coach will talk to him. It's a male figure around to actually help single mothers like me out. Yes, it has. It's, uh, it's helped her develop her athletic abilities. Uh, Yes, I mean, she started back when she was about five or six years old. Right now, she's almost 13. So, you have to see the actual years that I've known him for quite some time. It's a very family oriented type business. That's something that I look forward to. I mean, he has his own kids here. That's something that she looks up to as far as growth. And where can you go where you actually have a, a huge family business, a husband, a wife, and children and then you come here and you actually feel like you're part of the actual family itself. I feel comfortable, I'm a workaholic, I work a lot, so I feel comfortable with my child actually coming here and learning something from someone that I feel comfortable with her being around. Uh, yes, I uh, have noticeable improvement um, you know, since we've been coming, comes in the house first, but when it does, very, very noticeable um, compared to uh, when he wasn't involved in any sport or karate at all. Oh, very helpful. I mean, it's not only benefiting them, benefiting myself and my husband as well, because we work out here. So we do things as a family, which is very important for 
Yes, definitely. He's a good boy. I know that uh, he has a lot of discipline here and at home. He's never in trouble. He's a very good boy. Oh yeah, definitely. They've been a great help. Um, they can. My little sisters train here. They stay after school. They're disciplined. They respect everyone. Um, so yeah. everything great to the school she's been doing awesome uh, she was a lot talkative before she came here and now she listens she pays she pays attention she's even a, she's a straight-a student so she's awesome and as far as him he's calmed down a little bit he was a, a lot hyper but he's doing real good he's doing real good yes it's it's still a work in progress she has everything uh, but she she is she is now able to follow most rules uh, as given Yes, he's calmer, he's helping around more, he's more disciplined, and he is working a lot harder just to be here, just to be more motivated. He wants to come here. Even if he's sick, he's like, I gotta go work out, I gotta go, you know, I gotta go see coach. So it's helped a lot. He was very lazy, gaming all the time, no more games. It has uh, training. She's here for the boxing training. Uh, the training that she received has it's helped her uh, uh, her cardio. Uh, she's stronger. She's getting faster. Uh, she's 14 years old. Uh, she's coming off knee surgery. Uh, this is helping her leg strengthen up a lot more. It's uh, a major improvement. Uh, past two or three months in her uh, athleticism. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, she's a product of a divorce. So, I mean, I am actually raising her. So at, at one point, she was actually struggling with just acceptance of, of anything in her life. So with her being around coach and his, his wife and his kids and being around a family-oriented type business, it gives her a little bit of confidence that you know, she actually has someone that she can lean on, someone she can talk to other than me, that she can actually get some advice from, whether it's something dealing with school, something dealing with family, or just life itself. I mean, that's very important. When you put your kid into something that's an after-school program or summer program, you want them to learn something. And I think that she has learned confidence by her being 13 years old. And, and I mean, now she's boxing now. She started off at you know, when she was whining and at five and six years old, and that was my pet peeve, she used to cry over everything. And now she she can go in the ring and she can be confident within herself that she can accomplish anything. And I think that that's really big in the youth now. Discipline uh, problems, I would say. Um, ask for things when he wants them. Um, exercising also regularly, so that's uh, in addition to, that's not disciplinary. But he would, uh, he'd follow more of a tight schedule now than he would before. They didn't really need help with a lot of things. They needed um, how to follow direction some of the times. So with them being here helped them tremendously, especially him, um, KJ, the oldest one. Sometimes, you know, you have to talk to him three or four times for him to listen. Now I just say one word and he gets it because coach instilling them what they're supposed to do as little children and as us as the parents, they're supposed to be listening. He has good grades so far and he's in an honor roll. Mommy and Daddy are very proud of him. Uh, he's very disciplined, he listens and he pays attention to everything and in everything what we say. And he does everything what we ask him to do. Confidence, definitely. Um, one of them used to be very shy always intimidated and now she I mean she puts her whole heart into when she fights and even in school she does it. He is very constructive and has us, wants us the best for us and for everybody that comes to the source. But at the gym it's it's training it's it's never that we can't do anything. He's always pushing us to the best of our abilities. I think he's wonderful. He's a good coach and a dad. He helps me with everything.
when I first did my jump rope, and I had trouble with it, but my dad showed me how to do it properly. And I was struggling at the first time, but I got better and better each day. He's an awesome sensei. Coach Bulldog has teach them nothing but um, what they need to know. I mean, it, I, I trust them 100% with him um, anytime, any day, all day, and uh, Miss G also. I believe he's great. Um, he's helped us out. Um, he's, he's awesome. Um, between both Miss G and Coach, they both work as a great team. Um, Coach is, he's straight with the kids, and the kids respect him, listen to him, and it's helped out. They, he's, he's been really good with us. He's like family, as a teacher and sensei, and I think he's awesome because he teaches us a lot during karate and about life lessons. He's very uh, inspirational. He uh, pushes her in a sense where she's, she's got to do better every time she's up there in, in her training. He corrects her. It's, it's just been a as a teacher, I mean, he actually pushed the kids to the limit, to their ability. And I think that sometimes in youth, they don't necessarily know what they're capable of doing. But when they have someone to see something in them and know that they can actually be pushed up to that point where they need to be in order to achieve anything, that's a big plus. And he actually sees, I mean, most schools don't sit back and make sure the kids actually make good grades and are actually doing well in school and whether or not they have any type of behavior issues in school and he's on point with that and he actually makes sure that they're accountable not just at home but in the dojo because that's a part of the actual family environment. A very good sensei, uh, also considered a great friend, um, uh, someone great to talk to, um, has helped with uh, personal situations and also helping address uh, issues with, with Isaiah and helping with his confidence relating to him on a personal manner, one-on-one, -on -one, um, with the attention that he deserves, as any other child should. Oh, he's fantastic. He's lovable, he's very approachable. I mean, any one of these kids, you know, if they get in trouble, they can always come to him and tell them, you know, you know, coach, I did such and such in class. He will tell them what they did and how to go about it in correcting their mistake. He's very good, very uh, straight, but at the same time he has a very good heart for our and definitely he, he shows us that he loves every single child that comes to the school and he's always concerned about their grades, about uh, their progress, everything, everything overall. He's pretty good and I really like him so much because he's a very good, well-trained coach great one. He pushes you to the extreme. Um, if you need help, he's always there to help you out. And he's always looking for the good things in you and just to bring you at a higher level. I think he's the best teacher ever. He encourages us. He makes us much better in life. He teaches us self-control. And we also have a um, fruit of the spirit that teaches us how to be loved and peaceful and and have respect and he also helps us and become better at what we do and um, what we're training for. I think he's the best sensei ever and then he also helps me in school when I'm having trouble and he, he's made a big impact in my life. There's no first attack in karate! There's no first attack in karate!
No, not at all. He's always kept his composure. He, if, if, if he is ever mad, which I've never seen him mad, he, will, he never took it up here. He would always be, he'd be glad and rejoice to the Lord always. He would never, to me, he would never get like that. No, never. I'm, and I've seen in the classes. It's, no, not at all. He, um, he actually he wants them to do better. So he pushes them to do better. To be a model citizen, um, love the Lord, and to be a, an asset to the community. So, no, he's never pushed. Them. No, uh, not at all. Um, if I have a problem with him at school, if he gets in trouble, um, we'll both sit down, or all, all three of us, Miss G, my son, and you know all of us as a group, we'll sit down and discuss it together. And if he has to tell him you're not going to spar or go to a corner, you know, as measures of safe measures, then I'm all for it, and and I stand by it. If he believes is right, then I'm going to stick by him and go with it. No, not at all. I mean, honestly, I'm looking like a big teddy bear. <laughs> not ever. We've been coming here since March. Never had an issue with them. And I'm, as their mother, I'm very protective of my children. I mean, I will go to the ends of the earth for them, and they know this. If they say one thing and I come and see other, I will approach him, but I haven't seen it. So I can't say, was he ever bad to them? No. Never. Um, never. I've never seen him. The only, he doesn't really get mad. He just gives us constructive criticism to improve on whatever we're doing. No. I think that if everything is, the focus is discipline. So if we want to educate our children to be disciplined and respectful, we need to be very straight, we need to be very firm in our words. She's told me, and, um, and it's a credit and a testament to his faith that he came this far. I have. Um, but it's like I said, everybody changes, everybody grows up, we're all mature, we're all parents, we have kids, and we just want to fix it and be good. I do, and I've heard about it, he actually um, told us about it, it wasn't like anything that was actually a secret. I believe that everybody have a past, um, even for major, major successful people in the world have a past, but the past is what makes you what you are today as, as a person. And I think that without a past, there's no way that we can actually raise our children in the world itself and be able to be honest with them and be able to teach them if we didn't actually have to go through something ourselves. Going through something actually makes you be more influential, be real with your, your children to let them know that there's things out there that happen, there's right and wrong, there's consequences. Yeah, you know, he told us his story when he was younger, you know. He run with the wrong crowd. You know, when you're young, you live, you grew up different section of the, the world. Cause I think he's from New York. So when you're from New York, you know, you run with that crowd. And back then, you know, he has had some hiccups in his younger years. So that's not him now. He's a completely changed individual. I don't know much, but I know his mom and I, it's been an honor and pleasure for me to meet her and I think that it's an amazing woman and it shows me that definitely uh, she's been raised with a, a, an excellent uh, a mom and definitely we can see it because she's, it, she's great. I think that she has, she's a lovely, lovely mom so I believe that she transfers that to his son too and I think that it's amazing and it's a good example. Not much, but everybody has a class. I mean, with us, he's, he's an awesome guy. Anytime, yes, all of them. I mean, everybody's welcome. Oh yeah, I have. Uh, they just haven't come yet, but yeah, I have. Absolutely, I already have. Um, we have a salon on the street, um, and any female that has their kids or are interested in either karate or boxing, the source is the number one spot we're sending them to. Yes, I recommend it to anybody. This is a good program. It's a 
good atmosphere, family atmosphere. Uh, the kids, they all enjoy coming here. It's, it's a very good program. Yes, I, I will and I actually I have. Um, there's several people that ask me all the time. I mean, I train here myself. So I actually always recommend people to come here to bring, my, bring their kids, if not for after school, at least for the summer program, because it's amazing. Definitely. I uh, highly recommend it from personal experience. I brought a friend of mine in here. His daughter now comes here. And yes, I would recommend it 150%. Yes, definitely. Uh, mostly those kids that probably do not pay attention to their parents. And they want to do whatever they want to do at school. Or not paying attention, not being respectful. It's the perfect school for them. Yes, definitely. I work in IT department at um, Walt Disney World, House of the Mouse. I do nails and hair and all the above. <laughs> well, my background is law enforcement. Uh, I've done law enforcement for 15 years. I started off at the Orange County Sheriff's Office as a fugitive extradition specialist, and now I work for the City of Orlando in the Code Enforcement Division. So I'm a Code Enforcement Officer. I am a fire planner for Orange County Fire Department. What that is, I plan new fire stations within Orange County. And I've been there for 15 years. I've been a fire planner. I'm an interpreter operator. I work at the source. I help take care of kids. A close bulldog is my father, Oliver Collins. And uh, he's also my coach. There's a difference between a father and a coach. He is both, and he's been a great influence in my life. 